Hi, I'm Jeremy, and I've been a collector all my life. When it comes to collecting, I live my life by the three C's. Is it cool? Is it collectible? And is it cheap? So come join me as I look to add more to my collection. Welcome to the hunt. Greetings and salutations everybody. It's I, Jeremy, AKA XLJ, the OG. And have I got a treat for you today. So, we're here in town for AEW Dynamite. And usually when I come to Cincinnati, uh, I usually hit up the Burbs and there's two places I always check out. One's Jungle Gyms, which don't really got time for that today. And, and you know, getting groceries and stuff would be kind of, defeats the purpose of it. However, I am here at the toy department. And the toy department is one of my, probably my favorite place to go and get a lot of collectibles. Because if anybody knows me, I am a collector of a variety of things. And I go and I live by the credo of the three C's. Now, what are the three C's? Well, the three C's, I will tell you, is, is it cool? Is it collectible? And most importantly, is it cheap? And this place has always has some amazing prices, some amazing stuff. The cool thing is, they got a lot of cool stuff here because uh, Kenner was in, based out Cincinnati years ago when they were in business. So he always comes across some good stuff, has some good prices. So we're going to go on in and do a little vlog. I'm sorry I stole that from Ethan Page. I couldn't help it. Uh, but no, we're going to go ahead and do a vlog and um, check it out. It's the toy department. It's going to be fun. Ah, and there she is, my home away from home. So starting off here, uh, first thing, spotting a San Diego Comic Con exclusive Infinity Gauntlet from Hasbro. This is cool because it's designed like the uh, 90s Toy Biz Marvel figures. So this section is kind of this Marvel and DC area. A lot of cool stuff, especially in the cases here. I mean, check this out. Look at all those cool superpower toys. It always amazed me too, like how like Superman and like Spider-Man stuff got their own vehicles, yet they don't need a vehicle. It defeats the purpose. Loving the Christopher Reeves Superman and the old school Batmobile. Okay, and now we move on over here to, this is mostly Marvel in this cabinet. A lot of Marvel Legends figures, a lot of loose ones, and some kind of hard to find ones too, some unique ones. Love that Grey Hulk back there. Uh, Marvel, yeah, Marvel Legends is a really fun line, and like practically anybody who is in Marvel Comics, oh, okay, there's a Doomsday, but at a dark side, but I digress. Uh, but, anyways, anybody in Marvel Comics pretty much had a figure in this line. It's really cool. And is still going strong today. I love that thing uh, model kit. Pretty cool. Okay, and check this out. We got some Toy Biz um, Marvel stuff, some Savage Land accessories. I love that little Spider Man tower thing and the X Men training uh, danger room stuff. Digging the Hover Bat. Love the Batman animated series toys. And I had several of these X-Men toy biz, like 12 inch figures. I had Wolverine and Sabretooth, Cyclops, you name it, I had it. And wow, that's a lot of Batmobiles in package there. That whole row is nothing but Batmobiles from different eras. Oh, hi there, Kal-El, didn't see ya. Nice cod piece. 
Okay, on this end cap, got a ton of different statues from Marvel and DC. A lot of these are Diamond Select, uh, from Diamond Select Toys. A lot of like half bust, mini bust, and there's some full bust here too. If you like your bust, they're right here. No, nope, check this out. We got a Turtles in Time Raphael. Uh, I've been digging these figures. They're pretty cool. I love how they're pixelated. Okay, and moving on here, we got a ton of DC Direct toys here, um, which kind of like Marvel Legends, pretty much any DC Comics character you can think of has probably been made into plastic form. Love the Burt Ward Robin up there. And the Swamp Thing packaging was pretty cool, too. I love the Batman the Animated Series line. Look, you got a Bane and a Man Bat here. Pretty neat. Oh, and then we got some more Animated Series ones down here as well. Oh, and look, a Batman Forever uh, looks like a Riddler. Oh, and here we go. This is my jam. Toy Biz Marvels from the 90s. Ooh, look at that talking Spider-Man. I had him and the Hulk. Uh, you got some X-Men's down here. Oh, Silver Surfer. Loved how Silver Surfer and like Punisher and those characters were so over in the 90s. And some Marvel Legends, which I did collect those Marvel Legends, uh, but unfortunately got out of it. Uh, or it may have been a good thing because I'd probably be penniless. <laughs> And here we have a bounty of Marvel Legends figures from Hasbro. I mean, they really have knocked it out of the park with these figures. And like I said before, there's pretty much a figure for about every single comic book character you can think of. Okay, we're moving on here. And there's some NECA Ninja Turtle figures, which are really knocking it out of the park with those bad boys. Uh, some other movie properties like uh, Rocky, Gremlins, looks like Alien, all in this case. Evil Dead, I see. And of course, no toy store would be complete without a Funko Pop selection. And they have a ton of these here. And moving on to their video game. What? A Neo Geo? Okay, so Neo Geo was like my white whale as a kid when it comes to game systems. I used to play the crap out of them in the arcade, and I loved them because, one, they were a quarter a game, and they had multiple games to play on. They actually had a home console version that was released in 1990, and it was only really popular in Japan. There were some here in North America, but look at these game cartridges. They're freaking huge! I mean, compare it to an NES and SNES. My god! The thing is massive, but these systems are insanely expensive right now, and rightfully so. Uh, they had a little over, I think it was 450 was the price on this, but man, I want. Got some more cool stuff in here. Ooh, look at the Sega Genesis 3, which is just like a smaller version of the Genesis, what I, at least what I remember. Uh, some more, some video game figures, and of course a ton of games too. Ooh, love that Bucky O'Hare Tiger game. Okay, now we're getting into the wrestling figure section, and look at all of these loose wrestling figures. Uh, pish posh of things from mainly Mattel's is what it looks like to me, and oh my goodness, that flying Brian Pillman WWF stomp figure. I had that as a kid. I remember the little arm flying action. And got some Attitude Era figures from Jack Pacific. That's my jam. And as we go into the case, got some other cool Mattels, the WWF trading cards, and there are the Hasbros. Looks like we got a Jim Nineheart circa 92 up there, a Scott Steiner, Demolition, Skinner, and some on card ones too. Ooh, look at that rare LJN Ultimate Warrior figure from the Black Card series. Pretty cool stuff. Oh, and some Remco AWA figures as well. I had that Kevin Sullivan WCW figure from San Francisco Toy Makers. I had the whole line actually. Ah, uh, and the on card WCW San Francisco's there says Vader! It's Vader time! 
uh, one of my favorite WCW toys. And wrestlers. Jimmy the Mouth of the South, the heart. And some more Mattels, it looks like. And we're about to boldly go where no man's gone before. Some Playmate Star Trek figures. And I think this is a toy line that doesn't get enough credit. And there are a ton of them. What's this? Uh, oh, I thought it was a Klingon Max, just a damn Triple H mask. Now we're checking out the NECA toy section. And they have all the movie license, like uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, Predator, Alien, Terminator 2, TMNT, Back to the Future, and even the shitty RoboCop, as you saw. <laughs> I never was huge on Legos, but I'm impressed with the what people can do with Legos, as well as the massive line of uh, figures out there. It's quite awe-inspiring. Oop, buy, spy some Shack Attack toys. Had these as a kid, loved them. And look at these truly outrageous toys. Yep, there's some gym stuff here. Looks like we got some Space Jam Michael Jordan. It's an MJ and what is that? Huh? That's right, kitties. The king of pop himself, Michael Jackson. I mean, come on, man. Thriller. We're talking about Thriller. But back in 1984, LJN would produce a line of Michael Jackson figures and accessories. There was four different dolls that consisted of his Grammy outfit, Thriller, American Music Awards, and Beat It, of course. And this microphone is really cool. Shama! <laughs> Sorry, that was terrible. But look at the packaging on this thing, and I love how this microphone works by hooking it up to a radio. <laughs> wow, love it. Got some Barbie toys here, and oh, what's this? I spy me a Gilligan's Island doll. And right next to it, some Wizard of Oz Barbies. A lot of different uh, variants of Barbies here. Oh, and look up top, we got some Prince of Egypt dolls. You don't see those every day. Now we got some McFarlane toys. Oh my god, look at that Clive Barker. Um, anyways, yeah, so I love the Spawn line as a kid. Those were some super cool toys. And what was great about it is how the creator himself, Todd McFarlane, was full-blown involved. Got some Simpson Playmate toys, which these are really cool. And they've got a plethora of them because, I mean, it's the Simpsons. And got a ton of Star Trek on cards here, like I was talking about earlier. They're everywhere here. They've got a ton. Ah, here we go. And the piece de l'assistance. Star Wars section. And he is loaded up. I swear, every time I come here, I don't once leave without at least one or two or three or four or five or six Star Wars toys. I mean, they've got them all. Look at this. A lot of Power of the Force, which is what I collect. And it makes sense, too, because Kenner, well, who produced them, right there in Cincinnati. And, I mean, he's just got these in droves. I mean, do you see? Do you see? Look at, oh, that's a pretty cool Darth Vader. Been looking for that for a little while. Love the Micro Machine selection of Star Wars toys, which Micro Machines were awesome as a kid. Got some more, some loose stuff here. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Uh, I need this. Got some Masters of the Universe toys over here, some loose ones. And he does such a great job of packaging the loose ones, if I do say so. Uh, some Thundercats mixed in too. Oh man, look at that Battle Cat. Very rare. Some Thundercats too, some rare stuff. A Japanese Skeletor? Hmm, okay. Got some uh, good ones here in the case as well. Ooh, look at that Franklin Jello looking Skeletor back there. That's pretty neat. Got some Ninja Turtles too. What is this? Oh, what about the Wolfman? Looks like we got some Universal Monster toys here. I believe these are actually models you can build. Uh, pretty sweet. Oh, I'm right next to it. Check this out. A Mars Attack spaceship. Uh, this is pretty neat, too. I'm digging it. 
And now we're getting into some really old stuff here, even before my time. Uh, check out in the case here, got some Monsters of Mork from Orc <laughs> in there. Uh, this is really cool. Check out the 007 play set and the little uh, car or vehicle set too. <laughs> Something else. And here we go with some Transformers. You saw the Matrix of Leadership up there. Uh, a lot of inbox as well as loose Transformers here. I was never a huge Transformers uh, figure collector, but I respected the line. It's morphin' time, bitches! Look at the Power Ranger selection here, my goodness. Ooh, even a Super Sentai! Japanese, uh, some sort of toy or something. But man, the Power Rangers, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, that was the epitome of 90s. I mean, they marketed everything, Power Rangers, toothbrushes, Night lamp shades, uh, freaking anal beads. I mean, my God, you name it, they had it. Okay, maybe not the anal beads, although that would be really weird. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, just a huge section here of Power Ranger figures. Oh, I love these uh, giant size ones. Oh, I spy a Goldar. And if I was into collecting these, I'd totally pick this up, but I just don't got the broom. But Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, if you were a kid in the 90s, you loved the Power Rangers. And I mean, what more of a greater saga was there than the Green Ranger episodes? I mean, you were on the edge of your seat as a kid watching this stuff. Uh, some newer Power Ranger stuff. And the Power Ranger... Oh, what's this? Oh, Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad spinoff of the Power Rangers. Well, not really. Kind of a, a, an homage, if you will. Just got some random 90s stuff here. Um, everything. I loved how Aliens had a freaking toy line. An R-rated film had a toy line. Up, oh, James Bond Jr. Bonus points if you remember that, kiddos. Oh, Ricardo from Pee Wee. A Pee Wee. Um, love the little uh, bendy things. Little rat think um, figure. Oh, Tailspin here in the back. Just a little bit of everything, really, from that era. And, of course, the starting lineups, which I do collect these, always loved that line of toys, even though they weren't really mobile. Some, oh, Dick Tracy, The Tick, some more 90s stuff, Captain Planet, Dragonheart had toys? What the hell? Oh, man, just about everything was licensed back then. Oh, Skeleton Warriors, talk about that on our podcast on Saturday Morning Cartoons. And, oh, Reboot, there's another one we mentioned, and Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. It's full circle, kiddos. Got some Ghostbuster toys. Oh, check out that firehouse, man. That is sweet. Always wanted that as a kid. Got some Bucky O'Hares, which I had that whole line as a kid. Man, I wish I had those. I remember getting those from KB at, like, a discount. And now they're, like, ridiculously expensive. Imagine that. What? And a Commando... Arnold Schwarzenegger and Mr. T figure. Gotta love the 80s, man. Look at that. That's so cool. And now we're moving over to the G.I. Joe section, um, which they've got a little bit of everything here, too. Oh, Ming the Merciless. Ming! Why are you here? Well, maybe it was made by um, Hasbro. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, I got some uh, oh, Street Fighter 2, which was tied in to G.I. Joe, believe it or not, if you remember that back in the day. And in case here, we have a lot of the OG G.I. Joe figures. Um, just a ton of them, man. Just And some cards, too, as well. Oh, and some on card. G.I. Joe was pretty cool, man. And the accessories from Hasbro was awesome back in the day. Now, it's like I collected some, but I, I don't know. It just wasn't, like, predominant in my collection. But love me some G.I. Joe, man. Brave Star! <laughs> Got some other randoms here. Rambo. 
Oh, the uh, trading cards. TGIF Friday trading cards. That's amazing. Oh, and look at this. I got Barnyard Commandos. I remember these. I had a couple of these as a kid. And yes, over the top had some action figures. And there's your proof, folks. The, and you gotta love Mask from the 80s. That was a huge popular line as well. Some of My Little Ponies. This is some really rare stuff. More Brave Star stuff from Mattel. Um, which is cool. And oh, that was my cartoon and toy, Silverhawks. Got some Wild West Cowboys of Mumesa figures. And to me, this is what sets Toy Department apart from any other collectible shop I've been into. These are all of their um, prototype figures. You saw some Star Wars there. I believe that's Wildcats, Batman. But these were actually came directly from Kenner. And they also have what they call the two-ups, which was a um, double-sized version of the toys. Those are James Bond Jr., um, but yeah, I think it's so cool that they have those um, <laughs> available. And then you can see some even with the Kenner tags on them. On, and that wooden mold there, that's actually um, what they did for bubble packaging on the figures. I mean, there's nowhere else you're going to find that. Super, super awesome. Okay, we just finished up at the toy department. And once again... They have my back though, homie. A lot of good stuff, you see, man. That place is by far one of the best uh, collectible places I've ever gone to. Uh, I still say to this day, so. Decent prices, really cool stuff. That being said, what did I get? It's pretty cool stuff, stuff I'm happy with. Uh, big bulk of it, honestly, is, um, I love Star Wars Power of the Force, so I got a lot of Power of the Force stuff show you. Uh, first off, let's start off. I've seen this uh, before at the Geek, what was that, Geek Toy Hunt. Yeah, it was a little bit pricier. I thought this was a fair price, but this Power of the Force Darth Vader. The cool thing is, it's got the shell thing and it'll come down. Like when Vader comes out of his capsule. I thought that was pretty cool. Then I got the Power of the Force Cantina Showdown with Obi-Wan Kenobi, Nutsack Man, we're going to call him. <laughs> Actually, it's got their names on here. I'm, I love Star Wars, but I'm terrible with, like, the minimalistic characters. Sorry, not sorry. So we got that. That was pretty cool. And then, continuing with some Power of the Force, these next two, or Star Wars, I should say, next two items is stuff I've always wanted to have but never come across it out in a while, but I did today, so I'm super excited. This one is amazing. It's Power of the Force, Han Solo, and Carbonite. That's right. Uh, I've got a couple of these at home. i got Lando. Um, I've got Luke. And I've got... Um, I feel like I have another... Oh, yeah, General Ackbar. This is dope as shit. Love it. And then, sorry. This may be my favorite. I don't know. Absolutely, positively love this. The Millennium Falcon for Micro Machines, which I loved me some Micro Machines as a kid. I always wanted this. Pretty decent price on it. I mean, it's still sealed in box. Um, look at this bad boy. Huh? Do you see? So that was dope as shit. That was pretty much my Star Wars stuff. I got two more items. Uh, I've never seen this before. I thought this was pretty neat from Toy Biz. Cloak and Dagger. I think this bad boy for 10 bucks. And it's from 97, so it meets the cool. And also, one of 24,000 pieces. It's the collectible. And 10 bucks. Meets the cheap. And the, finally, the last piece I almost didn't get, but man, I would have kicked myself in the ass if I did not. Because I've never, I've seen this, but I've never actually seen it in person. And it's going to go right in the bar, right next to my final. Michael Jackson electric microphone from LJ in 1984, baby. So, 
pretty good box. The box is in pretty good shape. So, yeah. Pretty happy. Pretty happy with my hits. So, that's what I got. So, that was Toy Department, man. Hope you had fun. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff. And if you're ever in Fairfield, Ohio, the Cincinnati area, check the toy department out. I guarantee you, you won't forget it. Until next time, I'm Jeremy, a.k.a. XLJ, the OG. See you later.